Holding your baby skin to skin, also known as kangaroo care, is an important practice that is a standard of care for all sick and premature infants. Most commonly, kangaroo care is provided by having a parent hold their baby on their bare chest while the baby wears only a diaper. This skin-to-skin -skin contact is maintained as long as possible while the parent gently holds and bonds with their baby. If a baby's health condition does not allow the parent to hold them on the chest, kangaroo care can still be provided in alternate methods, such as hand-hugging, finger-holding, and nesting, also known as encircling. No matter how kangaroo care is provided, the key is for parents to have skin-to-skin -skin contact with their baby whenever possible. Kangaroo care is beneficial for the baby and parents. For babies, it can improve their health, not only during hospitalization, but also for long-term development. You can have a positive effect on your baby's health and development by having this contact with your baby. Benefits of daily kangaroo care for babies include positive effect on heart rate, oxygenation, and breathing pattern, stabilizing blood sugar levels and temperature, decreased stress and crying, decreased pain, especially during painful procedures, increased baby's readiness for breastfeeding, Babies who are held skin to skin experience a decreased risk of infection. This is due to the transfer of skin flora during this contact, similar to the transfer of healthy bacteria from mother's skin to babies during breastfeeding. Kangaroo care also encourages deeper sleep, which can help the baby's growth and brain development. All of these benefits are especially important for premature and critically ill babies. If you have not already, speak with your nurse about which type of kangaroo care is safest and best for your baby at this time. Before holding your baby skin to skin, you and your nurse can help to prepare by performing any necessary care, such as changing your baby's diaper to ensure she is ready for kangaroo care. Your nurse can also help you gather the supplies you may need for your kangaroo care, such as a comfortable chair, a pillow, and a blanket to wrap yourself and baby in. If you prefer a bit more privacy, your nurse can help position screens close by. Before you begin kangaroo care with your baby, it is important for you to use the washroom, eat and drink, wash your hands, and complete any other tasks so you can enjoy being skin to skin with your baby as long as possible without interruption. For mothers who are expressing breast milk, it is ideal to pump before and right after kangaroo care. This will allow you to hold your baby longer and can also help to boost your milk supply. You should wear a top that opens in the front, or your nurse can provide you with a gown to offer your baby the most skin-to-skin -skin contact possible. If your baby is on ventilation support, it is required that a respiratory therapist or a specially trained nurse is also present and assist you prior to the start of your kangaroo care. The respiratory therapist will gather the tubes and the lines to help your nurse transfer your baby to your chest. Once you are seated comfortably, your nurse will transfer your baby to you. The respiratory therapist and nurse will help secure your baby's tubes and lines in a position safe and comfortable for you and your baby. Once the baby has been placed on your chest, the nurse will position your baby so that she is comfortable and can breathe easily during your time skin to skin. It is important to maintain that position. If you need to readjust or notice that your baby has moved out of place, please ask your nurse for assistance. All efforts will be taken to ensure safe holding. Rarely, the breathing tube or lines may become accidentally pulled out or dislodged, requiring immediate attention. If this occurs during your kangaroo care, a nurse and respiratory therapist will help to transfer your baby back to bed and provide appropriate care and support. If at any time you are concerned, do not hesitate to ask for help. For ventilated babies, it is best to keep the number of transfers in and out of their crib to a minimum. We recommend that parents hold their babies for a minimum of one hour, but ideally for two to three hours or longer as tolerated. Your nurse will continue to monitor your baby during your time skin to skin. However, there are some important observations you can make to help monitor your baby while you are providing kangaroo care. It is helpful to know your baby's regular skin color, breathing pattern, and body language. 
Occasionally, babies may experience changes in their breathing or heart rate during the transfer or while holding. Should you notice any concerning changes, you may begin by stimulating your baby by gently rubbing their back and calling your nurse for assistance. Now relax and enjoy this special bonding experience with your baby. You may enjoy reading, singing, or speaking to your baby during this calm and relaxing time together. Parents also experience many benefits from kangaroo care. Benefits of kangaroo care for parents include lower risk of postpartum depression, improved milk production, an easier transition to breastfeeding, decreased stress, increased attachment, bonding, and confidence as a parent, feeling part of the healthcare team, and possible earlier discharge from hospital. When it comes time to transfer your baby back to bed, you should inform your nurse who can assist in safely transferring your baby with the respiratory therapist. Since mother's hormones increase during kangaroo care, it is a perfect opportunity to pump breast milk after your baby has gone back to bed. So kangaroo care is a way for me to contribute to Kara's care. Um, being in a hospital is very difficult because all of your control is, you don't have any control. It's with the nurses and the doctors and they're in charge of her, taking care of her. But doing kangaroo care is something that I can do that helps her, it helps me. It certainly helps me when I'm pumping um, with my milk production and uh, it just helps me feel like I'm a part of her care. Mackenzie's 11 days old and his mom can't be here. So the skin-to-skin -skin contact that Kangaroo Care offered uh, allowed me my moment to bond with him. For more information about Kangaroo Care, please speak to your nurse or other healthcare provider.